and welcome back to Sonoran Living Live. It is the baby show. We have a wonderful live audience with many expectant moms, and I have two of them right next to me. I have Amber and Tamika, and welcome to Sonoran Living Live. They're both feeling a little crafty today, right? Yes. Okay, so um, Amber, you don't know what you're having yet. You find out next week, you next said, Next week, right? I can't wait. I know, it's exciting, <laughs> and you're having a, a girl. girl. Yes. Is this your first, second? My fourth. Your fourth? Yes. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Well, this is such a neat idea, you guys. Um, somebody gave this uh, to me when I was pregnant for my first son as a baby shower gift and actually it was my cousin and I've made them for everyone I know ever since and let me just show you kind of how how these look these are adorable little onesies that you can make you buy them at the That's store cute. right um, they're just just little white onesies and then oh yeah look at the back right there on the bomb <laughs> and they're cute you can't forget that and then what I did is I decorated them with with fabric stamps and then I did a matching uh, burp cloth Oh, how cute. Yeah, see, so you gotta, you know, Adorable. if you're gonna burp, you might as well burp and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> and you're gonna go through a lot of these as you as you know, um, but this is such a great idea because they come in like packs of six. So, so here's what you want to do first of all. This is for the little boy. This one I made for the little girl. Aww. You got to look at that one, and I just embellished on that even around the little neckline. And of course, you got to have one on the bum as well. And then did the matching uh, burp cloth to go with it. So it's super cute. And here's what you guys want to do. First of all, when you go to the store and you pick these up, you need to pre-wash them. And what you want to do is get that sizing and that that stuff out of them, you know, mm -hmm. that's in there. Mm -hmm. And then um, after you do that, and you put them, or when you wash them, don't put fabric softener in there. Because if you do that, when you go to fabric stamp them, the paint just doesn't stick as well for some okay, reason. Okay. So no fabric softener. And then what I did is I ironed mine just to get all the wrinkles out because I'm going to fabric stamp on them. So what I did is I, I cut up some cardboard and put some cardboard in there so that you could have a nice flat solid surface to work on. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to move all this stuff out of the way here. The important part is, is to pick up some fabric paint. And this is the kind of fabric paint that you want to get. It's called So Soft. And yeah. why is that important? It's important because when the paint dries, it's nice and soft. Like, feel that. You can't even really oh, feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. So that it's not hard. Right. It's not yeah. hard and it's not, you know, crunchy or anything mm -hmm. like that. So it's, it actually is um, nice and soft on the baby. So I know that, Amber, you have not stamped before. So yeah. I'm going to have you go ahead and do that. Cool. And then what I like to do is little daubers and use these big chunky stamps. So we're just going to put out some uh, paint and... Um, some of the, <clears throat> excuse me, some of this so soft paint is also um, has a little glitter shimmer to it. Can you get it at Michael's? You can get it just about any fabric store or uh, craft store you can think of. Let's okay. do, um, gosh, I just don't know what to do with so many pretty colors. I know. Yes, I use orange. Okay, so you just put in this uh, little bit on a plate. And then you just take your dauber, and I just like to work with a, a part of the, the dauber here. And then let's use this flower, and then I'm going to daub the center. And then you go ahead and just daub another color, and then work your way around this flower. Okay. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to show Tamika this really cute idea. Now this one I already I started. It's it's a cute little shoe print, mm -hmm. but you know how I got all of this little detail is with fabric marker pens. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and they're and they're also washable. So, when you go in and what you want to do is just go ahead and just I just kind of just go around and follow the design. And here's what's really neat is that you don't necessarily have to be an artist. Go ahead, knock yourself out. You don't have to be an artist. You can follow the stamping pattern as your design and just kind of create around it, or you can just get real wild and crazy and just go off, you know, and just create all these different things and and just you know use the stamp as your guide and the one thing about a dauber is just that it's a dauber oh, okay, okay. instead you. of painting <laughs> on that's you. okay instead <laughs> of painting on the stamp you're daubing it and you know why because you get too much paint oh. what happens it gets inside those nooks and crannies and it's going to kind of ruin your design I thought I had to put so a lot. that's okay. okay so go ahead and nice nice and, and firm just stamp that onto your onesie and then gently pull it off. Then what you'll do is you'll let it air dry and then you can go back in with some of these dimensional paints and add some extra embellishments to it. For example, oh, that's beautiful. yeah, so if you can see, I don't know if you can see this All or the not. dots in the middle. Yeah, see, I went around. Oh, JC, I need you. I, um, I, I, I have to show you that this. That's cute. Okay. 
little dots around there, and then you can see the flowers has some extra embellishments on it. All right? Okay. Nice job, I ladies. Like it. Good so job. Cute.